Okay, so I was going to do a video on APY3, because either I saw it or maybe someone suggested it, but I actually looked at it real quick. They don't even have a, 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 a tele... They don't have a DAP. They don't have an actual DAP, right, which is a uh, dashboard. Can't see it because my cover, the camera's covering. They don't have something like this. It looks like it was a quick pump and dump, and they just basically stole everyone's money through pink sale. <laughs> so, I mean... It's like, okay, man. So I decided to still do this, hopefully, quick video, quote-unquote, supposedly. And I already did a video on this, but um, if you haven't seen the video on this already and you're too lazy to go to my original video on auto protocol, uh, basically, it's just another Seifu fork, like pretty much like everything else. And it's got its like crazy one-year worth of very high APR. I bought this for an average of... I want to say two seven two dollars and seventy five cents when it basically came out because that was at the time the video came out, and I actually pulled some profit from my sphere, uh, an okay amount of money but not a whole lot, and I bought this again at like nine dollars I think or eight ninety or nine dollars and thirty five cents and this thing just keeps going up so it's basically behaving more like Titano and Sphere, so. I think uh, I think uh, I'm gonna write like up 600% or 500% since uh, whatever I bought it right and for my YouTube title just to get a little bit more clickbait title, uh, but you know it does say you receive airdrops from the auto treasury yields. So the real thing that I'm really doing this video for, aside from you know, because again a lot of people probably don't know about this product. Well, maybe I don't know. I mean, it depends on how many videos you guys can consume on my channel because I'm pumping these out like crazy. What I'm really looking for is the treasury. So I have to kind of try to maybe figure it out relatively quickly. So if I had to guess, there has to be something here. Because that's the only thing I can think of that's actually causing this to go up. Uh, tokenomics. Let's see. I'm also happy to say that their dashboard is actually working. Because because before the calculator would not work for me. Now it actually works for me. So that's really nice. Uh, let's see. Swap takes me to Trader Joe. Right. Okay. By uh, pre-launch website. Oops. Uh, YouTube marketing, social media, CoinGecko listing, introduction of the DAO, expansion of NFT integration, and auto will also go multi-chain. Well, which one of these is actually fulfilled? No. Oh, that wasn't too helpful. But there is a reason. We don't have to figure it out. So, I don't know. They don't really say much. Maybe their Twitter got something. Because I'm not in their Discord. Forrest Cove, I'm calling that plan. I'm my token, just enjoying the rebases. Yeah, he also bought pretty much when I did. I don't even know what the, what price this is. Three dollars. Yeah, he bought it. Well, he bought it basically when I did. Biggest buy competitions. Oh, that's the other thing too. I did a video on Aurora Finance, and I cannot stand their I think spammers. Like if they're not careful, I think Discord might actually ban them completely. Like the Aurora project that is. Uh, oh well. Anyway, 2000 worth of AVAX. Next up, we will hire six buy company. You must hold for the next eight hours after the event. So it looks like they're doing these. Buy. <sighs> okay, so you have to buy and hold for eight hours. So it looks like this is also another reason why they're going up. I'm not going to do this, obviously. I'm just going to retweet them. For the next 12 hours, two random bars of auto with a minimum buy of at least one AVAX can have a chance to win $250. So basically, they're actually... Okay, so right off the bat, because I'm looking for their treasury, but I have to assume that they're using part of the treasury to reward. They're basically manually running like a kind of Titano play kind of thing, except the prizes are much smaller and it's obviously a lot quicker. So one transaction equals one ticket. So this might be the reason why. Okay. Uh, 2,000 holders. That's insane. We're trending on Dex Tools app and one of the top gainers on CoinMarketCap, so they're getting a lot of free marketing. 
Okay, so it looks like they're pumping because of these buy competitions, which I find freaking hysterical. But, uh, but apparently that works. Apparently that works. You know, if I give you, you know, if I, you know, if I had the same thing as like Sphere, like what Sims running, and then I also added to addition to Treasury making money, I also run these, let run these, you know, buying competition things. Yeah, that could be uh, pretty cool. See, that's the thing. How are they able to make it random? Because isn't there a lot of things to... I don't know, man. It kind of just seems like maybe they'll just pick somebody with, like... Just someone at random on the list or something. Like... Oh, I didn't open the chart, did I? Of course not. I forgot about the chart. Hmm. On AVAX... I also did not copy the correct URL near the contract address. I mean, what, how would I do this, right? Would I just simply scroll through here and look at all the... Let's see. I can filter the amount by minimum one, right? I would do something like this. And can I set it to buys? Yeah. So I do something like this and I just pick someone at random over here, you know? Oh, yeah. And that tells me the time frame. So I would just go back in time and just go like, yeah, here's your money, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is actually kind of funny. Yeah. It clearly is working. I, look at this. God, if I set this to one day, I mean, I think we're just going to... Jesus Christ. Jesus, man, look at that. I mean, I'm kind of almost shuddering to think what would happen if they stopped these buying competitions. You know, $3.8 million, just one grand. Hmm. Okay. Well, so far, it's pretty obvious that this is working really well. This is relatively cheap. I mean, $250 is, you know, an all right amount of money, but for your treasury, this is nothing. So you can easily give back a little of that treasury to uh, your people, right, to your customers, and then people will just keep buying this shit. And then they're not going to really want to sell because they'll be like, you know, I'm getting a lot of APR, so, yeah. By Jay Crypto. Okay, big shout out to blah, blah, blah. We are number one. China number one, of course. Teaser for auto drop to airdrop. We have an initial pause. It's time to push our other about to be one of our marketing plans. So these are marketing plans. A 20 grand airdrop campaign will start soon. Be at the top of the pack and win yourself 500 bucks worth of auto. So you get more eyes on auto and share the passive income for everyone. Okay. Uh, well, they're definitely good. But they're really good in marketing. That's clearly obvious. There's like tons of tweets. Okay, it's pretty obvious they are definitely running these buying competitions in a very intelligent way, I might add. Vault multi-chain farming is starting today. Okay, this is what I'm really looking for, treasury investments. Auto protocol holders will benefit from the yields acquired for different farming ventures through the AVAX airdrops and auto buybacks. Uh, how does this thing work? Trader Joe, fly AVAX. Okay. You can uh, purchasing the fly tokens. Liquidity has been added and it is now staking. Okay, so they're basically doing what I said in the last video for Sphere. I would just buy projects, buy investments, probably safe at the begin with, right? Get get a good strong foundation going. And then just yield farm. Just yield farm. Just basically what you and I already do, but on a much larger and uh, much larger scale. Uh, such a heater too. Do these tasks. Shilling competition. Here's another giveaway. Rug Doc has also reviewed them, so that's good. Biota Crypto. Uh, how big is this guy? Ah, <sighs> crap. Well, I'm just going to look at his YouTube size. That'll give me an idea of what his Twitter size is. Well, he's obviously bigger than me. Let me see. Uh, well, I, I suppose so. I mean, he's a pure crypto channel. I'm more, like, you know, obviously all over the place. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, I wonder if they ever, uh... 
I don't know, maybe I should tag them. I should tag them so I can at least get them to retweet my video or something. Oh, blah. All right, whatever. Okay, so I was hoping to see a little bit more. I'm also going to admit I'm kind of lazy. I am distracted. I really should have taken today off. And I'm waiting for Simon Black to launch any second now. So, you know, got a lot on my mind. But with that being said, all right, they are kind of investing the treasury. And two, they're definitely doing a really good job. Whoa, geez. One minute after our biggest buy competition started, 175x buy went in. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it would be, I guess the fair way to, how does this, how do you win? Is it random or for every one AVAX worth you buy, you get one so-called ticket? Oh, geez. How would you figure this out, dude? Oh, geez. All right. Uh, I need to go to, I guess I could check out the auto team. I mean, this doesn't really tell me anything. I need the white paper. I need the white paper here. I need to look at... This is the vault contract address, and this is their treasury. Vault farming. Proceeds of the... Uh, okay, sustain okay. They're doing Anchor Protocol and Terra. My nerves are fried, but uh, okay. I do know that uh, far DeFi. I don't actually understand how to do Anchor, but I do know that it's also important and it does work. If you can get, if you can, uh, if you can endure the uh, complexity of using it. Mirror Protocol. I don't know what Mirror is though. Mirror is a DeFi protocol powered by smart contracts on Terra. And it creates synthetics. Oh, great. Here we go again. Synthetics. M assets mimic the price behavior of real world assets and give traders anywhere in the world open access to price exposure without the burdens of owning or transacting real assets. This is why I don't like synthetics because they're actually fake. Like, it's not backed by the real thing. It's like trying to trade. I mean, well, JP Morgan manipulates everything, but let's say. It'd be like trying to trade Bitcoin futures on Lighter X, but then none of it is backed by Bitcoin. Like that, that's kind of like, that's actually a real problem. Curve finance in Ethereum. The main part of the curve down tower and incentivized clear providers on the curve finance. Okay, so they're also investing in curve. So this is probably another big thing. If I, I don't know what Mirror is, but I know if they are really doing this, Anchor and Curve are really big. So. Here's their treasury address, and they do have a vault address as well. Uh, well, their treasury's got nothing, okay. And their thing over here has nothing. So where is their investments? This is actually kind of an issue. Like, did they not update this? Because we did see their Twitter, and they even linked to it, didn't they? Great, you're gonna make this thing's gonna make me do more work than I would like. Okay. Because if they're not doing what they say they are doing, then this would not be mooning so much. There's something in there. Okay, because it's, okay, so they probably have a different address and they didn't update their white paper. Because they don't expect someone like me to actually go through their shit. Uh, let's see. What? No, I was just reading that. Uh... Okay, so they purchased, yeah, okay. Um, they should have the address that I'm looking for. Naturally, when we need the answer, this fucking site doesn't work. It's like, but the, well, we can't stop until we actually look at this, because I need to see this. All right, this is the difference between a real project and something that might actually be a scam. Or in this case, 
a uh, potential Ponzi scheme, right? Because we don't want that. Uh, so has this thing loaded yet? Okay. So they bought whatever this is. I don't know how much money that is. I assume it's quite a bit. So it looks like this is their uh, thing. Okay, so this seems to be their actual thing. 9147D. This is them staking. 9147D. Okay, so this is their thing. So, great, they've got stupid nodes. Yeah, all right, fine, whatever. I don't know what yield yak is, but that might be a thing. And then they have 16.7 grand worth of AVAX. Okay. I mean, again, this is the one, I guess you could call it disadvantage, like, yeah, so they're obviously getting taxes, so they didn't actually update their white paper, which they really should. All right. Well, that's good. At least we found at least one of their treasury, ad I assume this is a treasury address, because obviously the other ones I looked at from the white paper just turned up nothing, and that doesn't make sense. Okay. So, okay, so they have a bunch of AVEX, and then for whatever reason, they wrapped the rest. Okay. I wonder if I can do a D-Bank on this. D-Bank.com, was it? All right, here we go. So yield yak appears to be like yield wolf. That's my guess. They owe. I I remember seeing this announcement. They own a bunch of no deck. Uh, that's their AVAX and whatever. Holy cow, dude! Man, auto is worth that much, huh? I remember these values may not actually be updated. So we actually remove their own token because obviously it's their own tokens. Then their treasury is somewhere around twenty five thousand dollars, twenty six grand. And this yield yak thing that they're doing is worth thirty six thousand bucks. I'm assuming this pays out. Oh man, what is it? Does it by any chance tell you what it pays out as? My wallet JLP. Huh, just Lee Peterson. Um it has an APR of five hundred and eighty eight percent. Uh okay, well whatever. The important thing is they're investing in their treasury, right? I also want to see more. Let me get rid of that. Oh yeah, so I'm going to include a link to their D-Bank here because obviously their white paper does not have the correct treasury address. Well, from what I can tell, this is all that they have. Okay, interesting. What do you think? Does this make sense? Wow. <sighs> 31,000 auto. A lot of holders. All right. All right, we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I want to see a bigger treasury, but at least they have a treasury. And I'm guessing as long as they don't screw up the so-called monthly airdrop, I think this should still be okay. Uh, but with that being said, obviously, you know, they, they will continue to collect more taxes. And I'm pretty sure this is not their only address because if we... Let me see. Can I go to their snow trace in here? Because if we go to snow trace and their address, oh great, did I screw this up? Wait, what? Oh, this is their thing. What? Huh? What? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I had to click the... Con I had to read the contract. Okay. Okay, so the good news is I am retarded. 
Ah, why is this so complicated? Well, then again, that's why you guys rely on me to do this for you, right? Okay, so that makes it a lot easier. I think. Let me see. Uh, okay, never mind. I am not retarded. Why is this so difficult? Okay, so yeah. All right, I was not retarded after all. They actually did not update the thing. Okay. For some reason, I have to click over here. So so for now, I guess this is their thing. Ugh, node projects. Hilarious. All right. So I would like to see a bigger treasury, but it's pretty obvious that it's because of those buying competitions combined with a little bit of treasury reinvestment, but mostly the buying competitions is what's causing auto to keep going up and up and up. So, all right, I mean, hopefully it doesn't cause too much of a crash, though you should kind of maybe expect one just in case. Uh, but on the other hand, the more you wait for a crash, the higher this thing goes too. So it's like, what do you do? Luckily, I don't have to worry about that because I already bought it cheap enough. But, you know, let's see, uh, let's just see how it goes. You know, let's just see how it goes. And down the line, I definitely will want to keep track of their treasury. Because obviously, the more investments they make, the more money they'll make, etc. I mean, like for example, see, you only have 10,000, 116, whatever. Like if I were them, I would just take like 10 grand, go bridge it over to Polygon and just buy Sphere right now. And then just tell everyone that's what I did. Right? If I were running this, but... I don't know. I don't have to. I may not have the complete picture, of course, and obviously it's their project, not mine. So they can do whatever they want with it. I think clearly whatever it is they're doing is working for now. But um, but yeah. I mean, at some point, well, I mean, I guess if they keep doing these buying competitions, then they can continue to support doing that because they're not really giving out that much money, from what I can tell. So, you know, if you're paying, if you're giving away $500 and then you get back in return like $10,000, your net profit is like $9,500. That's a lot of money in your treasury, right? That, right off the bat. Right? I'm just using that as a hypothetical, you know, so. Uh, I think I could close that. This is a chart. I'll leave a link to this thing here. And I'm definitely done for today. God, tomorrow's gonna be another two videos. Because Phantom Liberal is re uh, releasing, and then Printer Financial on Polygon is releasing. Chances are, I think I'm gonna farm on Polygon a little bit, and then once the price is even out, I'm gonna, tra I'm gonna sell it, transfer it back in as paper, and I mean, turn it back into full paper, and then transfer it back to Binance Smart Chain. Because I don't want too many website windows open. If everything's paying out basically the same yield, and I just put everything on my home chain, right? Which in this case is Binance Smart Chain. So that way I don't have to keep doing two things at once. When I can have it all done at once, right? You know, because in this case, paper is essentially paper. And paper has been doing crazy too, right? I mean, between Peg Maker version 2.0, uh, paper. Paper is now a, a, above 90 cents now. And ink shares continue to go up. It's at 17.71. Then you got Sphere, Caesar is hanging in there, right? Once they get their stuff together and they release all the audits and website UI shit this week, right? It's going to be a big problem if they don't release it this week. Auto, of course, doing great. You know, Playmates is hanging in there. And then everything else is like, whatever, I don't really care. And of course, Titan. I don't even have that much Titan. I've got like, what, 1,200 Titan or 800, right? Because again, I missed the boat on that. And right, now it's just way too expensive. So, anyway, I think that's it. Uh, 24 minutes, 10 seconds. Now, I really want to take tomorrow off, but, I mean, with all these launches, I'll just do that. <sighs> then after that, probably on Tuesday, I'll do Poseidon Black. I may even do it tomorrow. I mean, I don't even know. And then I'm definitely taking two, three, four days off, man. I, I need... First of all, you guys and gals probably want some time off to go through all my videos, because like, I even had someone say in the chat for Poseidon Black, Hey, Johnson, I love your videos, but you're doing too many. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I am doing too many. All right? Even I acknowledge that. But time and content waits for no one, and that includes you and me. So either we get on the train or we get left behind, right? I mean, that's just how it goes, right? Because once you're on the train, then you can take a nap, like, you know, for like a while.
So that that's kind of like the idea, right? You know, I'm sure some of you, I'm sure all of you have ridden a rode a train before. At least, at least, I, at least here in America, our railroad system is called Amtrak, right? American Metro Track. You know, I never actually. What does Amtrak stand for? What does it stand for? Uh, American Track National. What? Oh, great. Oh, it just stands for American Track. Well, that's not very creative. Amtrak is federally chartered. Federal government as majority stockholder. Oh, so this is actually rather than a public authority. So the government can run for profit uh, things. Yeah, I always wonder why should, why do we, the government should always just run some things as for profit. If you're that worried about accountability, just have it compete against our private companies. And that's what we do with say shipping, right? We got UPS and FedEx and DHL that competes against the United States Post Office. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Oy vey. What's happening now? Um, that's what they did with the front hopper. Yeah, I don't even know what fly is. What really did amazing. I don't have access. Uh, hoppers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Fly is the currency of NFT. Anything about flipping NFT? I feel okay. I gotta read the elite Discord too. So. I will see you all, yeah, because basically they said this is the thing, and I just found it out here on live on stream for you guys and gals too, so. Uh, see you tomorrow. Don't worry, we will be having a few days off, because believe me, I would love to have a few days off with videos, and then you can decide what you want to do. And remember, you don't have to worry about missing the boat in a way, right? Because we're constantly finding new projects. So the one thing we really need to look for is the actual one, right? The next sphere, the next auto, and the next uh, Titano. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. I am done. I want to play my King of Crabs. I want to play my... Yeah, King of Crabs. Uh, that, that phrasing sounds funny. I want to play Escape from Tarkov because believe it or not, I'm using that as part of my weight loss program. Because the gear fear and adrenaline rush is literally making me not hungry. And I need to sustain that for a few hours so I eat less food. So uh, <laughs> I'm, really going, I'm really going ham on, uh, on this stuff. So Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I am so done. I am managing my Firestone RPG. And whatever. See you all tomorrow. Oh, God. I need a break. I need my break. I'm going to have my break.